This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. Just moments after the Supreme Court cleared his last hurdle to State House, Rigadi Gashagwa described his boss President-elect William Ruto as hardworking, zealous and passionate. In fact, Rigadi publicly admitted that Ruto's close allies, including himself, may not be as hardworking as the incoming president himself. For close friends, Ruto a teetotaler is ruthlessly ambitious, a schema by excellence and brilliant. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. President-elect William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga will on Thursday face off in a high-stakes battle to control parliament. Elected and nominated members of the Senate and the National Assembly are convening for the first time today for the swearing-in and election of speakers and their deputies. This follows the gazettement of the sitting and venue by President Uhuru Kenyatta on Monday. The sittings of the two houses begin at 9 a.m. President-elect William Ruto is facing a delicate balancing act not only to satisfy competing interests among allies eyeing top state jobs, but also in distributing the national cake. Ruto had made a raft of promises and commitments to certain regions, signed region-centric charters and power-sharing deals with bigwigs as he crafted a winning political machine. Ahead of his swearing-in next Tuesday, the president-elect is already in a big dilemma over how to ensure he honors both political and development pledges. The four IBC commissioners who fell out with Chairman Wafula Chabukati might not be off the hook yet despite making an about turn in their decision. Vice Chair Juliana Cherera, Irene Masit, Francis Wanderi and Justice Nyangaya had a distance to themselves from the presidential results stumming them as opaque. In a strongly worded statement, Garissa Township MP Aden Duale wants the four removed from office of a gross misconduct and violation of the constitution. Dennis Mochoge first lost his family then his own life allegedly while in police custody. His family has told the star the 37-year-old man had a marriage plagued by domestic violence. It broke down six months ago and the couple separated. His wife reportedly found another partner. Mochoge was staying in Mungedo area of Juja. His brother Stephen Mochoge said he found another partner but his former wife was never happy with it. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.